Dear colleagues, let me introduce myself. My name is Elena Favorskaya. I work at Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. And today I want to tell you about uh, computation, the bridges of quick resistance by the grid characteristic method. I have uh, three presentations at this conference and uh, in each uh, research, uh, the same class of numerical method and the same uh, failure criterion and destruction model uh, we used. Uh, so, to save you time, I organized information about this as follows. Uh, this presentation is organized uh, in accordance with uh, these two slides. Uh, firstly, some words about relevance and scientific novelties, then about mathematical model when we will discuss structured competition grids in their times and strengths and weaknesses, and uh, the promised information about uh, how to find a known function in inner points using grid characteristic numerical methods uh, uh, with different. Uh, uh, wave equations and different types of potential uh, meshes used. And when uh, also uh, some now information about computational methods and uh, uh, strictly about uh, earthquake resistance of bridges uh, over a highway and over a river. And finally, some conclusions. So let's start. Uh, the relevance is in the following facts. Uh, the construction of bridges in regions with high seismic activity requires an increase in their seismic resistance during construction and methods for determining the degree of wear. And nowadays, numerical modeling is used for this purpose. Therefore, scientists are faced with uh, the challenge to de develop uh, novel high-precision numerical methods to solve these problems. However, the most accurate mathematical models require a lot of computational resources uh, that are compatible uh, with the level of modern high-performance computer systems. Uh, so, uh, in this research, uh, scientific novelty is in, is in polls. Uh, the novel modification of uh, the grid characteristic method is used, that is, the grid characteristic method on joint structured and regular and curved separated computational meshes uh, uh, to solve uh, accurately precise uh, coupled boundary value problem of elastic and acoustic wave equations and full, in full and correct mathematical statement. And also novelty is in using uh, combined uh, separated uh, conformal meshes and several um, programs for preprocessing was developed as well. Novel. And uh, so let's start from our mathematical model. Uh, here we can see our bridge and uh, there are three types of materials. Uh, concrete, rock, and water, and uh, uh, we use different separated uh, uh, meshes in the, the case of different materials, elastic materials, or in the case here, uh, we will solve uh, acoustic uh, wave equation because here the water is, and uh, uh, in this place we will solve elastic wave equation to model concrete and uh, geological rock. Uh, surrounding our bridges uh, and uh, so uh, there are these systems of equations. Elastic wave equation uh, here rho is uh, density, uh, the time uh, r is the radius vector of our coordinate system, uh, sigma is uh, symmetrical shift stress tensor, uh, v is uh, velocity of our uh, medium that is uh, derivative on time of uh, displacement. And uh, P and CS is speeds of uh, pressure and shear waves uh, appropriately. Uh, pressure waves are also known as longitudinal waves and compression waves. Acoustic wave equation might be written uh, as follows. And uh, here uh, P is uh, pressure field. And um, uh, there are these uh, boundary conditions in this uh, boundary value problems, and also we use uh, initial conditions of plane POS wave. And uh, 
also, as I said, we use destruction models with this uh, um, critical main stress. Uh, uh, this uh, critical main stress is for beams of our bridges and this for wires here. And uh, also, as I said, we use separative grid in the cases of uh, here. Uh, we can use our regular uh, structures, computational meshes, and here there is a complex shape of our object, and we should use curvilinear uh, regular computational grid. And uh, in in this uh, way, we uh, construct our computational grid in this area. Uh, here, there they are presented, uh, but uh, because of uh, we use uh, destruction model, our uh, boundary value problem becomes non-linear, linear, and we should investigate convergence of numerical methods in, uh, to perform accurate calculations. So uh, the software for preprocessing to construct these computational grids to cover our domain in, in, of integration was developed and. Uh, it uh, allows to use different time steps and different coordinate steps. And this example is uh, for you to uh, see uh, the cells of our uh, meshes. Uh, and the real meshes uh, was uh, with smaller uh, coordinate steps in 10 and 5 times. Uh, in comparison with these pictures. And uh, as I said, our uh, system of separated grids uh, are conformal, and uh, that means that um, uh, points in the neighborhood uh, mesh are in the same place, as you can see here. It's a fragment of this grid. And there are some another geological rocks they are just uh, just a part of uh, all computation grids is pictured here and uh, as i said uh, there are three waves uh, that we use separated grids uh, first one is uh, uh, different types of grid uh, uh, regular or curvilinear uh, the second one is different uh, material properties uh, and uh, the third one is uh, you know, to obtain uh, conformal structure of these grids and uh, we should use another grid here to uh, uh, obtain this con conformity so at this slide you can see uh, the table in which strengths and weaknesses of these uh, regular and linear uh, computational meshes are presented uh, regular Computational meshes allows uh, to use uh, more simple and more accurate numerical methods, but uh, we can uh, describe uh, objects of complex shape using them. Curvilinear grid uh, oppositely allows us to cover objects of complex geometric shape, but uh, we should use uh, more complicated uh, computational algorithms and uh, increase and computational time increases and uh, the accuracy of numerical methods decreases. Uh, so there are some advantages and disadvantages and our novel modification of grid characteristic methods allows us to uh, obtain uh, advantages of all two types and uh, remain disadvantages of them. Uh, so let's prove uh, this thesis. And uh, here we can see formulae to find the Riemann invariance uh, in the case of elastic wave equation and the regular computational grid. When we obtain uh, several, nine exactly, uh, transport equations on this uh, Riemann invariance with coefficients given here. And when, uh, after we're solving, we can calculate our unknown functions, component of velocity and symmetric Cauchy stress tensors uh, using this formula. But in the case of uh, structured cured computational meshes, uh, uh, this uh, formula 
to find the same uh, Riemann invariance and the known functions from uh, Riemann invariance becomes uh, more complex. Uh, here uh, there is a, a novel six symmetric uh, uh, tensors of second rank uh, and uh, uh, effective uh, speeds of sound uh, also increases, uh, might increases because uh, with value L uh, with subindex J might be uh, bigger than one. And uh, let, I am going to tell you also how to construct these uh, novel tensors and vectors. Uh, here we can see a cell of our uh, curved computational grid and when we use uh, uh, coordinate uh, transformation to obtain a regular computational grid and uh, in this way we introduce our novel vectors n the different at each point of our grid and uh, we can construct our uh, symmetric tensors in this way in find and find the uh, l uh, with subindex G in this way, it's normal for our vector n. It's, it's all it so depends on our coordinates and uh, also uh, good uh, computational curved grids are uh, computational grids with smaller uh, parameter L subindex G. And uh, also to compare, there is a similar formula in the case of acoustic wave equation. There is no tensors uh, uh, capital N, but because of uh, pressure is uh, scalar field. But there is also this vector SN, and uh, formula in the case of curved computational grids is also more complex. And we also have some increasing uh, in several cases of our effective speeds of sound. Uh, also, to obtain a good, uh, in our case, as I said, with smaller uh, parameter L subindex J uh, uh, computation grids, we, in this case, on the preprocessing stage, we use analytical approach to construct these grids. And here, one can see appropriate formula in the case of uh, trapezoid with stride boundaries in, in, and in the case of trapezoid with analytically parameterized uh, boundary. Uh, here in this example it's parabolic parameterization where are two parabolas here with uh, opposite coefficients and uh, par parabola one, parabola two and the line being accurate here there is a line and uh, there are some designations with designations uh, are at this slide and the other examples of uh, computational grids also using this formula it's very easy and uh, uh, quick uh, to construct uh, more precise computational grids because uh, we know how to find coordinates analytically and uh, let's move on to discussion of uh, seismic stability of bridges uh, over a highway. Uh, there are some varying in construction feature, as you can see here. And uh, as you can see, there are some difference in destruction area. For example, uh, here is small destruction so when in the case of this construction variant, but uh, it is not significant. You can see some quality uh, features being the same for initial S wave and initial P wave. And we can explain these uh, uh, features of destruction areas using wave logic methods for the investigation wave phenomena. This method allows us to uh, examine uh, exact solution of boundary value problems using computational experiments. Uh, uh, for example, each line of this uh, uh, dynamical wave patterns, there is uh, just a snapshot from these wave patterns in a fixed uh, time moment, but the, uh, they were analyzed in dynamics and uh, each uh, line of these uh, specially visualized uh, wave fields uh, uh, is uh, uh, com 
compare with a partial solution of our boundary value problems. For example, this is uh, initial P wave and we know it's uh, the appropriate partial solution of boundary value problems and these uh, are some reflected waves, uh, uh, Rayleigh waves uh, and also the partial solutions are known and we uh, the method is uh, how to uh, compare parts of these pictures to potential solutions and to obtain analytical formulae uh, without uh, written this uh, particular solution in accurate shape. And in the only, even in the cases, and then there is unknown uh, potential solution. This uh, this logic method can be applied. And uh, in this research, uh, uh, we just explain differences and uh, absence of differences in destructive theories using this approach for investigation wave phenomena. And here we can see quality of uh, uh, similarity in wave reflection in the case of different construction. Mm, there are some uh, differences but uh, pattern of reflection is the same and uh, so let's move on to bridges over a river and uh, here we will vary number of pipes you can see some differences in distracted uh, areas in the case of pairways and the same pattern of destruction in the case of shear waves and uh, we also can explain it uh, uh, using uh, wave logic methods and by analyzing wave patterns. Uh, here, some periodical wave structure in the water occur, uh, but uh, it have different. It has different nature in the case of pressures and shear waves. In the case of pressure waves, it's our initial wave. Uh, uh, which is multiple re reflected in the water layer, uh, layer and in the case of shear waves, uh, uh, the reflected uh, uh, pressure waves from shear waves uh, in the beams, uh, in the piles and in the geological rocks are uh, in the water and they are uh, uh, summarizing in this uh, uh, periodical wave uh, pattern in the water. But uh, the, the nature of it is another and uh, uh, it's uh, a class of uh, not volume but uh, surface waves and uh, way does not significantly interact with our fires and so uh, the destruction uh, features in the case of S, uh, of S waves are the same but in the case of uh, P waves uh, there are some significant differences because when this uh, periodical structure uh, inter uh, interfere between uh, these uh, peers uh, there is some difference and uh, notice also you should notice that the period of this uh, structure depends on uh, water depth and the an angle in which uh, our initial wave propagates to the earth's surface but it do, do not depends uh, on the peri periods of uh, places of peers of our bridge uh, so let's move on uh, to discuss the influence of uh, water depth. It's also some significant difference uh, uh, in the destruction areas uh, in this case as well. And uh, also, as in, in previous case, uh, destruction in the case of S waves is due to uh, propagation initial shear waves in the bridges. Uh, Fires uh, and uh, in the case of uh, pair waves, uh, uh, this periodical structure also occurs uh, when water depth is uh, increasing, uh, but uh, it's uh, with smaller amplitude, so it does not affect uh, so significantly the destruction process. 
Uh, and uh, finally, we will discuss uh, uh, the influence of river width. Uh, there is no significant uh, qualitative difference in uh, occurring the distraction area in this case, and it also can be explained by analyzing this wave phenomenon. Uh, there is a simple period, as I say, it depends only by this angle and only on uh, water level, and it's the same with these two problems. So there is no significant differences in the instruction area. So we are moving to our final slide with conclusions. Uh, the obtained results demonstrate the effectiveness of uh, using uh, combined structure regular and curvy linear conformal uh, computational measures to reduce the cost of computing resources. And also, uh, novel modification of the grid characteristic method uh, is applicable for solving problems of earthquake resistance over bridges and allows uh, comparative analysis of design feature at the development stage. And the use of wave logic methods for investigation of wave phenomena allows to understand the nature of difference in distraction areas, independence of construction features, water level, and so on. So, dear colleagues, thank you very much for your attention. That's all.